What's up, everybody out there in television land and the internet? Michael Hurdle here from the Michael Hurdle Production Studio, rendering your imagination. Hold the presses, hold the presses. I looked at my inbox and somebody asked me, hey, Mike, have you seen Google AI Studio yet and have you messed around with it? And answering that person's question, the answer is no. I didn't even know about Google AI Studio until like a day or two ago. And I'm like, wow, there's so many different AI models out there that it's hard to keep up with most of them. This Google AI Studio caught my attention. One of the most things that caught my attention is this option here that says stream real time. So let me show you what I mean. Um, let me share my screen real quick. So I have, let me see, is this Blender? I have Blender open. And what I want to do is that I want, I want Google Gemini to help me navigate blender let's see if we can get this ai model to help me learn blender okay all right so connection failed let's see okay let's try it again share my screen hit blender share the screen can you hear me gemini yes i can hear you what do i have on the screen right now what do you see i see the blender software open with the splash screen in the middle Behind the splash screen is a 3D view with a cube in the middle. So can you teach me how to use Blender if I didn't know how to use Blender? I can help guide you with the basics of Blender. Would you like to start with navigating the user interface or perhaps with creating and manipulating objects? Yeah, you know what? For, let me start from the very beginning. Let's just say I wanted to navigate. Like you see how I'm doing this right now? What is this called? What you are doing now is called orbiting. You are changing your view perspective, rotating around the cube. Do you have any other questions about navigation in Blender? Yeah, let's just say I wanted to make this cube a little bit bigger. How do I do that? To make the cube bigger, you can use the scale tool. You can find it on the left toolbar with the icon that looks like a square with an arrow pointing outwards from each of its corners. Once you select it, click on the cube and you will see three colored lines extending from the center of the cube. You can drag the end of these lines to make the cube bigger in each respective axis, or you can drag the white circle in the center of the cube to make the cube uniformly bigger. Would you like a more detailed explanation on how to scale objects? Let's just say I wanted to uniformly scale this. How do I do that? To uniformly scale the cube, you can click and drag the white circle in the center of the scaling tool. When you drag the white circle, it will scale the object uniformly in all directions. Alternatively, you can also press S on your keyboard, which will activate the scale tool. Then type the desired scale factor and press enter, which is a more precise way to scale objects in Blender. Is there anything else I can help you with? Yes, that's pretty good. I learned something new today. If but I, I just wanted to test this feature out really quickly. And I'll be honest with you, I've already learned a couple of things with Maya on its own. So I'm, I'm kind of impressed. I mean, not Maya, Blender. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm actually impressed. Thank anyway, you. guys, I just wanted to make I don't want to make this video too long. I just wanted to, sh you know, give you my thoughts on Google AI Studio. If you, if you like videos like this and you want to see me mess around with this more because I just learned about this a day or two ago. So I'm, I'm pretty new to it, but I could imagine me messing around with this for a week and seeing how how much potential this thing has. So I'm not gonna kick it down yet or say anything negative about it. This is just my first impressions about this. But I think right now for a free AI model, I'm paying $21 for ChatGPT and this is free and it does almost what ChatGPT does, uh, except for the image generation and all that kind of stuff. So ChatGPT is a little bit ahead of this, but I can see this thing going a different direction if more time and money and more learning is put into this. So, you know, I mean, woo, there's so many, there's so many uh, AI models out here. I can't even keep track anymore. I'm just, I'm, I'm still figuring out Deep Seek. I haven't even gotten to that yet. So, anyway, uh, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please leave a comment in this section because I swear that people are not looking at this video and nobody's leaving comments. Leave a comment. Say, hey, I saw it. Give me something. You know what I mean? Let me know you're there. All right. My name is Michael Hurd from the Michael Hurd Production Studio, rendering your imagination, and I'll talk to you guys the next time I do a video.